Hello everyone, I'm here today to tell you about one of the new Google Meet features that has finally rolled out. I feel like I've been waiting for these forever and I'm super excited that they are rolling, most of them are rolling out this week. And today, this morning, we're gonna talk about polls in Google Meet, just because it's easy, fun, and I can see it being used in any grade level. So I am logged into my own Google Meet. I've decided to uh, record this in an untraditional way just because I want you to be able to see the teacher point of view and the student point of view, and I just wanna get it out quickly. Um, so I'm logged into two computers. I'm logged in as a teacher, as the Meet host, and then my own two daughters that are PV school students, their accounts are logged in too, just for a little more authenticity in, um, in the Meet because you wouldn't be in a Meet by yourself. So I want a, a couple students in there. So I've got, um, I'm in my meet and you can see at the top, I've got some new features today. You can see right here, uh, these little shapes. This is called activities. If you ho hover over it, click on it and you will see we now have access to polls, Q&A and breakout rooms and even some other things. But right now we're just gonna talk about polls because they are awesome. Um, so I'm gonna click on polls. And I've already put in a few polls. These are polls, if we were in a class, we did these earlier in the class, earlier in the meet. Um, but if I don't want those showing, I could delete those. So maybe I said, what's your favorite color? Uh, we don't really need this one anymore. I'm gonna delete it and it goes away. We've still got the what's your favorite sport from earlier. Um, and I can see the results and see, see the data. Now I'm gonna go over to my other computer and look at my daughter's um, meet who's logged into this meet as a student. I'm going to click on her little um, activities icon and go down to polls and we can see the previous poll that was put in. So, you know, if this was later in the class and she had to go back and check that data, she could. That's the way to get it. Now I'm going to launch a new poll live. It is super easy. So I'm in polls. I'm going to click on create a poll, ask a question. And this time I'm gonna ask, let's see, uh, what do you wanna focus on today in class? How about that? We're trying to get a snapshot of what students need to learn. And I'll say addition, and I'll say subtraction, and maybe I'll throw in an other for someone else that, you know, maybe they're, they're struggling or they have a, they, they've mastered addition and subtraction and they don't feel like we need to focus on those. So I am gonna save this. I can, you know, you can work on it, you can edit it, you know, I could start it and then edit it later with more ideas or something. Um, and then I can also just launch it and that's what I'm gonna do, launch it now. And you can see in the student classroom, it pops up right away and it says live, meaning this is happening right now. And she can answer. So what do you wanna focus on today in class? Maybe we'll say addition, scroll down and she can vote. And it's gonna tell you, your name and answer will be recorded. So this is not an anonymous poll. Vote, I'm gonna tab over to my other daughter's screen uh, so we can see what that looks like. So this is a different student's account live. So she hasn't answered yet. So you can see there's nothing. Well, maybe she says other. She doesn't want addition or subtraction. She's gonna vote. I'm gonna go over to my screen and I can see in real time the results of the poll are in there. So I can see I have one vote for addition, one vote for other, and zero votes for subtraction. Um, the students can't see that, but I can. I do have the option to show everyone the results. So I'm gonna to toggle that on. And now the students can see, they can't see the names of who's voted for what, but they can see they have one vote for addition, one vote for other. Um, maybe I have enough data. I'm going to say end the poll. It's going to say ended. It's going to say ended on the student screen and they're not going to be able to alter their results. Um, so super easy, just a super fun, quick feature. I can see this being used for so many different things, with so many different grade levels, um, exit tickets, you know, just a quick assessment, just kind of um, maybe just an icebreaker. You know, how was your weekend? How are you feeling today? Just something silly to get people uh, loosened up a little. There's lots of different things we could do with this. Um, working in small groups, you could you know, kind of see what students are struggling with or need help with or have questions with or what they've mastered. So awesome, awesome ways to collect data really quick and easy with polls. I, like I said, I'm super excited about all these new Google features. You'll be getting more information soon. Um, good luck with polls. I think you're gonna love it. I urge you to try it out because it's so easy and so fun. Have a great day.